Earth rotates once every 24 hours, and this is what defines a day. Everything else in our planet is spinning along with us, therefore we didn't notice our planet spinning. But what would life be like if it spun twice as fast as it does now? Will we feel dizzier or even survive? Or how will we cope our new life with shorter days and less sleep? Hello, and welcome to Astrophy's weekly show. And here's what would happen if our Earth spun twice as fast as it does now. Fasten your seatbelt as we're going to travel twice as fast as we do now. At the equator, the Earth spins about 1,650 kilometers per hour. So, if you stand at the equator, you will travel about 48,000 kilometers a day. Spinning twice as fast, we would lose half of our day, and time will fly by making us difficult to cope with the change. Well, there's a lot of bad news coming, but let's start with a good one. If the world spun twice as fast, you would weigh a lot less than usual. This is because the centrifugal force on Earth is constantly trying to fling you off, but gravity is what keeps you grounded. When Earth spins twice as fast, there will be an increase in centrifugal force, making you lose some weight. Now is when things start getting creepy. Everything around you is moving twice as fast, days are only 12 hours long, and you finally turn your television on to find what's actually happening. But sadly, your TV won't turn on, as there will be no power. Or even if you managed battery backup and luckily your TV will turn on, there will be no internet and nothing to watch. This is because all our networks, GPS, TV stations, communication channels, rely on hundreds of satellites orbiting around the Earth. Our satellites are synchronized to Earth orbit with the gravity of our planet, and this is how they stay in orbit, but when Earth doubles its spin rate, our satellites will be thrown out of the Earth's orbit. But who will even have time for TV when days are only 12 hours long, and you'll only get 4 hours of sleep instead of 8? Do you think your body will function properly with the change? When will you eat, go to sleep, go to work, or even have some time to watch our videos? Humans will have to create a new calendar, because instead of 365 days a year, we'll have 730. A seemingly long wait till your next New Year's Eve. Adjusting to the new clock will be tough. Well, for animals who hunt at night, they'll only have 4-5 to five hours to hunt, and anyone who can't cope with the change will face extinction. Our body won't know when to eat, when to sleep, and we'd be like cats napping every time, going crazy in the middle of nights. Fun things apart, for humans we will need to double our commute to and from work, as we will be traveling more often due to shorter days, and everything might need to be done twice. This will increase fuel consumption, greenhouse effect, and contribute climate change much faster. But why worry about climate when it is beyond our save? Extreme weather will be our new normal. The faster the Earth spins, the faster winds spin, and so do hurricanes. Deadly hurricanes and frequent raining will be our new normal. But wait, that's not the worst thing that'll happen to our planet. Not only will you have to be a storm chaser, but also a good swimmer in order to survive. As Earth rotates 3,200 kilometers per hour, the ocean from northern and southern hemisphere will get pulled toward the equator. Countries like Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, Kenya, Indonesia, Singapore, and parts of Australia will be partially, if not completely, underwater, forcing thousands and millions of people to move out. You would notice some significant weather changes. The air would be heavy with moisture, dense fog, clouds, and constant rain would be the norm in regions near the equator. Furthermore, less gravity in the equator will create a constant rain and fog, and combine this with extremely powerful hurricanes, making our journey to the equator almost impossible. This means people in either hemisphere will be trapped there forever, and there's more to come. Man-made infrastructure won't have a nice time either. Pretty much every other building with a concentrated enough load pressures will come crumbling down. Dams and power grids will be the worst hit, leading to blackouts and floods at a global scale. Over time, due to a faster spinning rate, the Earth's crust will start to change its shape. The center of the Earth will bulge out, shifting the tectonic plates and causing massive earthquakes. 
If you're still wondering that humans will survive, then forget it. Even if our 12-hour days won't cause much stress, but the deadly earthquakes, hurricanes, and climate change will possibly kill us long before you imagined. Also, if our Earth spun twice as fast, it's not good news to our natural satellite, the Moon. Earth will start to pull the Moon with more gravitational force, slightly tweaking the rotational trajectory with our friendly neighbor. However, the Moon won't come crashing towards us, as for that to happen, the gravitational force would have to be high enough to make the Moon hit its escape velocity from its net gravitational force from other planetary objects, most predominantly the Sun but it'll definitely start to inch closer. But what if double wasn't the limit? If you keep speeding the Earth up, at some point you could fly off the planet. That's because the centrifugal force of the rotation would be enough to overcome the gravity keeping you on the surface. This would happen at a speed of 7,888 meters per second, or 17,641 miles per hour. You would experience reverse rain, raindrops would move upward in the atmosphere instead of falling. If you push the speed to 11,000 meters per second, the Earth's crust would begin to flatten at the poles and bulge around the equator. Enormous earthquakes would rattle the planet, making it completely inhabitable. But don't worry, Earth's rotation won't increase anymore. In fact, Earth is slowing down its rotation slowly. 4.4 billion years ago, Earth rotated once every 4 hours, and during the time of dinosaurs, Earth rotated once every 22 hours a day. Earth's rotation decreases slightly every few million years due to the gravitational pull from our moon. However, Earth's rotation is not going to be any faster in the future unless we get hit by a massive space object that we haven't seen yet. But then and there, we will have bigger problems to worry about. Let's just be happy that, for now, our planet appears to be spinning at just the right speed. Wait, we have more hypothetical stuff on our channel. What if our sun disappears from our solar system? What will happen to Earth? Will we even survive? To find out, watch this video. Link is in the description. So, next time you have a long day at work, be glad it wasn't any shorter. Our way of living depends on the rotation of our planet Earth. So, thanks to our planet for being the way it is, and enjoy your every moment, 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Comment below if you have any hypothetical questions that you want us to answer. We'll see you next week in our new video. Did you know that you can help us find a new topic for our video just by commenting below? Well, now you do. So, what are you waiting for?